What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Afro Sniper X. Oh, yes, back in the heezy for sheezy with another one. Oh, yeah. So, today we're going to be testing some ballistic damage. Oh, yes, in two different calibers. And what makes this video unique is not what we're doing, it's what we're shooting at. Oh, yes. So, today my wife went grocery shopping and I hit her up. I said, Hey, baby, can you pick me up some pork chops so I can shoot? And you know what she said? And I was like, please, 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 please. And she actually did it for me. I love my wife. Big shout out to my wife, Joyce. Oh, yes. So we got pork chops right here. I got them, two of them wrapped in some ceram wrap, kind of like uh, some meat underneath some skin. I know it's not the best, uh, the best representation of it. But you know what? I think this is going to work. We're going to be able to see how good ballistic damage is on some thick meat. So yes, because a lot of these people, they shoot at ballistic gel, ballistic clay, and that is awesome. I actually have some ballistic clay and I've shot it in some other videos in the past. You guys have seen them. Oh yeah. So that's pretty cool and all. I can't lie. But I want to take it to another level, something that I don't see that often. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one to do this. Pretty sure there's a lot of other people that have done it, but not many. So I want to be part of that club and I want to see what will happen. How good is the ballistic damage? Will the pellet expand? Will the pellet, the pellet uh, penetrate straight through like I expect it to? What will happen? I don't know. That's why we're here to test this. Oh yes, if you have a theory, what do you do? Test it. And that's what we're gonna do. So in 22 caliber, we're gonna be testing the Terminators versus the Painted Pellets. Big shout out to my boy, Andy. These are awesome. I've had nothing but good luck with these pellets, I swear to God. And in 25 caliber, we're gonna be testing the Agent and Hornets Oh yeah, versus the Barracuda Hunter Extreme, also by H&N. So this is gonna be awesome. Really freaking awesome. And the guns that we're using in this video, you guys have seen them, but if you guys have it, I'm gonna show you right now. In 25 caliber, we're gonna be shooting the Humorex Gauntlet. Oh yes, Humorex Gauntlet. I love Humorex, I really do. And in 22 caliber, we're going to be shooting the Crawl Puncher Breaker. So, oh yeah, Crawl Puncher Breaker. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and then just to sum it up, at the end, we're going to see if we can split this wishbone. Oh yes, haven't decided what caliber I want to use yet, but uh, by the end of this video, I'll make up my mind. So, all in all, this is going to be awesome. I hope you guys learned something in this video. Uh, I hope I learned something in this video. You know, if maybe if this is a good idea or if this is not a good idea. I don't know what I'm going to learn. I just hope I learned something, right? So, and at the end of the day, like I said, this is just going to be fun because I'm going to be able to shoot a wishbone. Hopefully, I could split it in half perfectly. I don't know. I'm hoping. Uh, I've had some good luck shooting this week, so you never know. You know what I'm saying? My skills might come into play and... I might just send it home all the way. So enough talking. Let's get to shooting. Let's get to, to slinging these pellets and uh, see what happens. It's your boy Afro Sniper Rex. Yay, yay. Let's do this, y'all. Peace. Damn. So first we're going to be shooting the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. And then we're going to jump to the Ancient Hornets using 25 caliber, shooting the Numerous Gauntlets. Uh, we're going to do two shots apiece, two shots for the Hornets, two shots for the Barracudas. Check out the ballistic damage. And then after that, we're going to go to the 22 and do two shots with the painted pellets and do two shots with the Terminators and uh, check out the list of damage and see what we learn out of this whole process. So it's your boy, Apple Sniper Rex. Let's hold up on the trigger and get the shooting done. Oh, yeah. Adjust the camera just a little bit. There we go. Bam.
so let's go check check those two shots out. I was using the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. As you guys can see, that's the exit. And that's the entry. It was real smooth going in. Well, I get, did some pushing on the exit. So it looks like it flowered. We're going to try to trace the pellet after we're done. All right. So now we're going to be using the H&N Hornets. And uh, I expect those just to go straight through clean. So let's check it out. really cool but uh here's another one of the pellets and this looks like it's a the same so this is one of the h and hornets so small both of those went straight through i can't locate them right now until i go take a deeper more look, a deeper look uh, i can't locate visually where the they're cooler hunter extremes are, but we've located both of the hornets. So that's pretty cool. Let's get that bad boys right here. And uh, now we're going to pull out the 22 and uh, see what happens with the Crawl Hunter Breaker versus the Mutant. Oh, yeah. Accidentally, that was actually the Terminators first, not the painted pellet. So, all right, so that's what we got right there. It's not too bad for the Terminator. It's kind of a smaller version of the H and Hornet damage over here. So that's pretty interesting. All right, so now we're gonna go to the painted pellets, which is my boy Andy's uh, thing he got going on, which is pretty cool, pretty interesting. So, let's do this. Okay. Ooh, not bad. Got a little holy right there. Okay, okay. So it made a big little nice little hole. One right there and one right there. Alright, this. Check this out. See if we could catch any of the rounds inside. Looks like penetrated straight through on this one. Can't find any pellets trapped at all. I don't feel anything. So okay, so that piece, so and I had the centerpiece. 
which is was originally the main piece, but I messed up, so I had to redo it. And not seeing anything in here. Not seeing anything trapped in this piece either. So that's interesting. Alright, so now I want to show you guys something that's pretty freaking cool. Check this out. That's actually in there pretty dang good. I think I'm gonna need my knife to get it out possibly. So I can't wiggle it out. And I'll have my knife on me. Alright, hold on. Let's pause this. See, it was like I never left, guys. So, like I said, the pellet is right there for the H&N Hornet. So I got my knife. We're gonna see if we can get this bad boy out. There we go. Like I said, that's that's pretty cool. It came completely out the pellet. The pellet got smashed, and you could see one of Andy's pellets that went through and stuck into the plastic. So even penetrating all this meat all this all this meat you know even penetrating all this and the cellophane it still had enough force to drive through all that meat and uh getting lodged in here so that's pretty cool so now what we're going to do is we're going to move this and uh see if any of them uh had enough for us to go through the wood. And it looks like this, there was one that went through the wood. Actually, if you, uh, let me zoom that in. Lift the camera just a slight bit. Let it focus. Let it focus. Boom. Right here, that's a piece of meat. And there's a hole right above it. So you can see right here that one of the pellets went through which is pretty cool and there's a sliver of meat so interesting and then we had one big entry right here so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool right there other than that I'm not seeing too much damage looks like we have a round that splintered off a little bit right here and one right here but it didn't go straight through the board it just made a really good size dent so pretty interesting but that's not all guys that is not all there we go boom so we got two oreos right there right oh yes so we're going to be using one 25 caliber and the other oreo is obviously going to be the 22 caliber and we're going to see uh what destroys it better you know i know there is a big difference between caliber and you guys are like oh the 25 caliber is just going to own it but you never know, right? You just never know until you try it. So let's do it. And of course, I'm going to make this part right here slow motion. So it's just going to look awesome. Oh, yes. So let's do this, y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let's get it. So that was a lot of fun, everybody, right? Heck yeah. Had an awesome time destroying all that meat. What? And surprisingly enough, it didn't stick in any of the meat at all. I mean, like, look at that. Just to give you guys another look. Holy. Hold it. And. Holy. Holy. <laughs> oh yes so that was awesome and we have one more thing we're gonna do which is the wishbone oh yeah I told you guys about all that so we're gonna go load another clip up another magazine with some let's use the H&N Hornets I just love those bad boys so we're gonna use the H&N Hornets we're gonna see if we could split a wishbone directly in the middle like a ninja you know what I mean so it's gonna be some ninja fruit air gun YouTube style oh yes so and uh you know we're not 
do anything with fruit. <laughs> We're doing it with the wishbone. So this is going to be fun. This has been a very interesting test. Uh, uh, that was, this is actually pretty cool. And just to give you guys more of a close up, I'm gonna grab the board so you guys could see those shots a little bit better. Oh, I'm back. Ha! Yes, yeah, so right. Let's see, where, where are we at? Right here. Boom. So that's all the damage that we inflicted after all the pellets went through. The, uh, the meat so pretty interesting just give you guys a little closer close up there you guys go bam not too bad right oh yes had fun doing that what so let's go set up this wishbone on the backboard and uh we're gonna get the humorex gauntlet all ready to go we're gonna itch that booger finger one more time send it down range hopefully we're gonna nail it hopefully it doesn't take me a whole magazine which is 10 rounds in that humorix gauntlet 25 caliber so hopefully i'm not that bad of a shot you know i did do the advil pills so i'm feeling pretty pretty confident oh yes yeah, so like i said we're gonna hook it up and get straight into this oh yeah so boom i got the wishbone right there zoomed in i'm gonna go hop on this gun and uh see if we can split this sucker in half yeah yeah first time did i just get that first time what? Oh, I demolished it. I don't know where it's at. Oh my god. But it looks like I hit it first try. Uh, bam. That's not too bad. I was a little low. Literally, a little low. Let me see if I can find the rest of it. Oh, damn. I'm good. Bam. Not bad, y'all, right? Not bad bad what what oh yeah so check this out guys just to give you a better visual so that's how i had it not too bad broke it dang near to the you know what i'm saying perfect center if i would have just got a little more higher that would have been nice so check that out that's not too bad guys that's not too bad at all split it good so Heck yeah. Oh yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, y'all, because it was awesome. I mean, we were doing everything from splitting wishbones, ballistic damage on the meat, trying to see different penetrations and different expansions. It was awesome. We even spotted some Oreos. What? If that's not kick ass, I don't know what it is, guys. Oh yeah, so it's your boy, Afro Sniper X. And I will see all you air gunners next time. And like I always say, stay popping that air, stay shooting that lead, and stay. Never again can I lose.